Grüß euch und Servus miteinander. Hi, my name is Dieter Manschura. I am the owner and manager of the Artelena company. We sell Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. The subject of today's video is a leading Sosaku hanga artist. His name is Masao Maeda. He lived from 1904 until 1974. Masao Maeda was born on the island of Hokkaido. That's of the large uh, Japanese islands, the most northern one. And there you have lots of mountains and in the winter you have lots, lots of snow. But Hokkaido is not the center, the economic and cultural center of Japan. And if you want to start a career, you have to go to Tokyo or Kyoto or Osaka. So when Masao Maeda was 18 years old, he wanted to become an artist. He went to Tokyo and he studied oil painting at the famous Kawabata Painting School. And he began a career as a painter. And then he met a leading artist of the Sosaku Hanga art movement. His name, Unichi Hiratsuka. And Unichi Hiratsuka, he was the guy who taught his colleagues how to make woodblock prints. Woodblock prints, the technical way, carving, carving and printing. Because the traditional way, there was a teamwork in the 19th century and also as the Shinhanga artists did it. Uh, they just made the sketches and then came the art artisans and they did the carving and they did the printing. But the Sosako Hanga artists, they refused that completely. That was not congruent with their understanding of a real artist. After so roughly 1930, Masao Maeda concentrated um, largely, completely on making woodblock prints. And he became part of the Koshiro Onshi uh, group. There was a group of artists, the Sosako Hanga guys. Um, Koshiro Onshi was their mentor and kind of a leader. And well, they met in Koshiro Onshi's house, I think once or twice per, per month. Koshiro Onshi was from a wealthy family and um, he could afford to host the others. The prints of Masao Maeda often show mountain views. Um, I already told you that he was born in Hokkaido. And quite a few of the Sosako Hanga artists, but also Shin Hanga artists like Hiroshi Yoshida, they were avid mountaineers. They liked to go into the mountains. But while the others were heading for the summit, Masao Maeda said, the finest panoramas are down in the Middle Heights. And there he waited until the others came back and made his sketches or took photographs. And when he was at home, well, he tried to transform that into woodblock prints. Let's talk a little bit about, yeah, about a few series he made. Uh, Famous Gates of Edo is one that collectors know well. And another one, Eight Views of Hokkaido, where he was born. During his later years, the style of Masao Maeda became more traditional. Also the technique uh, became more refined and the subjects more traditional in the sense of the traditional subjects of Okioe as it was done in the 19th and 18th century. Let's talk a little bit of, about market prices. Masao Maeda prints are in a kind of a middle range usually below US dollar 500, but rare pieces can be considerably higher. Well, use our archive um, of more than 50, or I think in the meantime already 60,000 sold uh, Japanese prints with prices, with detailed descriptions, and large images. If you have any questions, you can send me an email. However, not tomorrow, because tomorrow, my friends, I'm going into the mountains 
following the traces of the Japanese artists like Masao Maeda. But in contrast to him, I want to go to the summit. Goodbye, see you later for the next video.